How to make offerings after a ritual. You summon certain forces, and you have to pay them. Besides, they only asked you for five pints of beer. Remember that such signs never come without a reason. If you're suddenly tempted to buy an unexpected product in the shop, it's not for you. If you suddenly have a burning desire to eat a certain food, it's not for you. I've already told you that. Remember that once and for all. You summon forces, you make contact with them, and the fact that you don't know who they are and they don't speak to you in your native language doesn't mean that they won't guide and help you. They are present in your life anyway, and of course, they don't want beer, they need its energetic essence. They've asked you for some more energy because they can't take any more from you. All your energy is completely drained, but they need more to complete the process. They can't take energy from people, they have no right to. So where do they get it from? They get it from a biological product. And for them, beer is the best of all substances. Beer with honey is perfect for them and they consume it with great pleasure. So just pour it on the ground, under a tree. Traditionally, when we make such offerings to devils and demons, we bring them to a crossroads and leave them in a bottle. But when we make such offerings to pagan deities, we take them out into nature and pour them out. So what comes from nature goes back into nature, restoring balance and releasing trapped energy. During this process, you must pay close attention to the signs. The colleague told us today what happens when you not only allow runes and magical symbols to transform your consciousness, but also touch the resources of the gods without having enough knowledge and strength to cope with this task. Of course the higher forces are helping us. But remember, nothing is ever free. And if you've been told that your Christian God loves you unconditionally, believe me, you've been totally misled. Nothing is free and everything has a price. Well, maybe the Christian God really knows what unconditional love is, but the egregore that parasitizes on his name never does anything for free and will always make you pay. The Norse gods, gods of honor, do not lie. They tell you straight out, you have to give me that, you have to take that to that place, you have to plant that, do that and buy that. Clear, direct and without any pretense. So listen to the signs, remember, if you suddenly want something badly. While you are working with a certain force, it is not for you. If you suddenly feel that something is leading you somewhere, listen to your intuition and follow it rather than act according to your plan. Trust your dreams, trust your feelings, trust your intuition. Then you will surely find your own God, your patron in the Scandinavian pantheon. It is very diverse and interesting and I will certainly tell you about it. You will find not only a patron, but a mentor, a teacher. And believe me, it's a lot better than having a guardian who just helps you survive in this world. After all, it is important not only to survive, but also to win. Warriors need victory, which means they need not only the force that keeps them safe, but also the force that allows them to win.